wow, this computer light is the most light I have in my apartment right now. Okay, so hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Board from Dorm. On this episode, we're gonna talk about crazy people because they don't seem to like ever leave. So I just pulled up an article. I didn't read it yet, but it's just called Assault with a Deadly Weapon. Florida man charged with throwing alligator into Wendy's. Authorities in Florida have arrested a man accused of throwing a live alligator through a restaurant's drive through window. Wow, that is a lot to take in. Let's break that down. Okay, so my first question has to be, where did this man acquire an alligator? Is there like buy one, get one free alligator at, um, at a supermarket or something? something in Publix, I don't know. And then the second part of this sentence, yeah, now apparently with the freaking Hunger Games, he throws it through a restaurant drive through window. How does this man fit an alligator through a drive through window? Is he going to get his cash and all of a sudden he's like, yeah, sorry miss, sorry miss. Let me just, let me just uh, pull out my, my wallet real quick. <laughs> How does the cashier not notice that this man, why didn't she shut the window on him? Investigators identified the man, Joshua James, as the man who tossed the three and a half foot reptile into a Wendy's last fall. Okay, is this some kind of prank? Because I feel like the internet is not understanding the difference between pranks and people's lives. Because there is a difference. Everyone's like, haha, I just shot you, pranked. It's not a prank, people, okay? If people's lives are on the line. According to a Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation, whatever. He faces three charges related to the incident. Aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. <laughs> so now, they are classifying <laughs> the alligator as a deadly weapon. I think what happened here, what happened here is, is uh, <laughs> all the officers and deputies went back and they're like, well, shit, what do we classify this as? Like, okay, well, we've never really had an incident where someone tried to throw an alligator through a window of a fast food restaurant, so I guess we just call it a deadly weapon? He was also charged with unlawful sale. I have no idea what that means, but maybe he was trying to solicit them, and what was happening was there was some banter between him and the cashier lady, and he was basically like, no, I'm trying to sell you this alligator, and she was like, no, I really just don't want the alligator, and he was like, no, you must take the alligator, and then he chucked it at her. So that way, that's why it was an unlawful sale. Possession or transporting of an alligator, or transporting? Who do you, who, do you think someone like brought it there to him? Like his friend Joey is in the back with the pickup truck and he and they're like carrying the alligator to his like freaking Nissan or something. What do you mean? Or transporting. Of course he transported it and petty theft. Petty? I don't think transporting an alligator is petty. He's 24 years old, so apparently, I'm getting this. This is making a lot of sense now. James has just graduated college. He needed to solicit this alligator to pay for rent. Nobody wanted to take his alligator, so he takes it to a drive-thru. And the drive-thru is like, well, no, we don't want your alligator either. And then he was like, well, you gotta take the alligator because rent's due. So he chucks it at them, and then he attempts to get money out of them. Um, because he's 24, he just graduated college, he needs to pay for rent. Makes perfect sense. The driver, because we didn't just classify it as James. Okay, so does the driver, so now if you're saying the driver, does that mean there were two people involved in this incident? So James convinced someone to do this with him? <laughs> James is like, you know what? You know what'll be a great idea? No, no, Dave, 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 just fucking listen for a second, okay? Let's take this alligator. I know rent's due, but I'm just take the fuck. Wait, just listen to me. We'll try and, uh, we'll try, we'll try and solicit, solicit the Wendy's people. I'll get you a 20 ounce large coke if you listen to me. Listen, listen, all right. So we're gonna take this alligator, right? With its legs splat, splayed on the fast foods rest, restaurant kitchen. <laughs> I'm laughing, because you can only imagine the story like happen after this incident, you know? Like Mary goes home to her husband, Jim, right? Mary's just like, Jim, you're never gonna believe what happened. No, there wasn't, it wasn't, it was worse than the stabbing last week, actually. No, yeah, no, it was even more nuts than that guy that came in and tried to steal all the fries. Like literally just all the fries, more nuts than that this guy chucks an alligator no Jim I'm not making it up yes Jim I took my pills today an officer responding to the incident captured the alligator taped its jaw shut for safety so now officers in Florida are trained for these kinds of incidences because they seem to happen quite frequently the surveillance footage from an adjacent gas station an adjacent gas station why well, couldn't it, does Wendy's not uh, can't afford cameras anymore no no deputy Harris I know Wendy's has has surveillance cameras with 
perfect footage of an actual aerial view. But I, I, I really, did you see that new Doritos commercial? A judge on Tuesday ordered James to stay away from all Wendy's restaurants, just Wendy's by the way. If he wants to do this at, at Burger King, McDonald's, you name it, Jack in the Box, have at it my friend. You go ham sandwich, go nuts. To avoid possessing any weapons, alligators, but you take any ducks, you know, wildlife that they got down there in the Florida, you know, fine. Linda James told, oh James is the last name. <sighs> that is so confusing. It was just a stupid prank that he did that's now turning into this. It's stupid his mother told him. He's a prankster. It's a prank because obviously nobody can get hurt. So if nobody can get hurt, it's a prank, you know what I'm saying? And it's a prank because nobody got hurt and alligators are harmless. It was actually a puppet that was just on a motor. People don't even get this sh and that is all for this week's episode of Board From Dorm. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a lovely week. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Bye-bye. <gasps>